Just talking? Well, what's the show about? About nothing. <laughs> The famous album art for Nirvana's Nevermind mm -hmm. uh, featured a nude baby yep. chasing a dollar, mm -hmm. um, and that baby eventually grew up. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk? And now he wants to sue all uh, states associated with uh, Nirvana, Nirvana. Yeah. yeah. Um, for I believe one hundred and fifty thousand dollars each. From each, yeah. Person. Yes. Yeah. He uh, doesn't like his winky on that. on display. <laughs> well, I don't he, like that they're categorizing it as child pornography yeah that's that that's his claim that it's mm. he's saying that it's uh or at least uh it's, in uh, the, it's a naked baby and they're making money i guess yeah <laughs> if you, you break go, it down to those terms you, you go bare bones yeah, with it but, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah let's think about um uh traditional art yeah you know like mm -hmm. michelangelo you've got like uh angel babies penises showing before yeah. that before ah. we built this Structure city? of uh, we built the city. <laughs> All of a sudden, we're just gonna break out into fucking song, dude. <laughs> Mama mia! Um, Podcast karaoke. That's oh, that's a sick. new idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Uh, about we built uh, this Michelangelo city? little penises. Ah, yeah. Little penises. <laughs> Michelangelo's painted baby penises there, before. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And um, before the the. the the norms changed, you know, we feel differently now yeah. about the human body and, and, you know, exposing, I think. I wonder if it's slightly different, though, because maybe the ones he painted were cherubs and not actually real people. They're not real people. And these yeah. are like no, thousand year old cherubs. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. They don't have rights anymore. They don't. <laughs> they don't. No. But I, I look at I know uh, the album art obviously paints this picture, you know, it's like uh Somebody threw this baby in the water to chase the dollar, you know, almost like, you know, we'll do anything for a buck type yeah. of idea. Um, you might so it's sell like, yourself. It's child pornography, child abuse, and exploitation, right? That is the claim. Those are the claims. Oh, really? Uh, I think they're pretty much that. Yeah, yeah. Verbatim. <laughs> verbatim. Verbatim. Wow. I just like kind of shot in the air. You shot from the hip. Yeah. Your I heard paralegal classes <laughs> yeah. started fucking chiming in. I heard someone say the best joke about it, though. Uh, it was, I can't remember the comedian's name. Sorry. I will give credit to the comedian, but said that uh, the Nirvana, Nirvana baby is still chasing the dollar. <laughs> there you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is horrible because that's like so true. It's so funny. <laughs> and uh, I would not want to do it for that reason if I was this guy. But beyond that, I wouldn't want to do it because I already fucking this guy. In 2016, he recreated that photo. Oh, really? Yeah. Happily doing it because it was, uh, I don't know if it was an anniversary or anything. I know the 30th anniversary is coming up for the album, though. He might have done like maybe the 25th anniversary. I and mean, not only that, but yeah. he has a Nevermind tattoo across he his does. chest. Absolutely. I wanted to point that out as well. So he's just trying to make money. Dude. Trying to get a little extra money. Uh, to, if I were to be fair, if I were to be fair, you are, you are a free to change your mind eventually and say yeah. like maybe you didn't think you were offended by this before uh, and now you are <laughs> i'm going to be charitable here and say that that can happen like you can realize later like oh i wasn't i didn't realize how affected i was by that these are slippery slopes they again, are slippery you know? but to ed made a good point i believe before we started talk uh, off mic was um uh if you're gonna be mad at somebody wouldn't you be mad at your parents yes there you go that's the truth man because they're the ones that exploited you. Yeah. Exactly. He made a comment though. He said something interesting, which I didn't do full research on. But he said that we never do full research. His, yeah. Never go full. Uh, yeah. Full <laughs> his legal guardians were never informed. So that kind of told me that his mom, who was friends with the band, may have had him for the weekend or something. I'm just also painting something oh, here. Oh, okay. We're building a theory here. Yeah, we're building a theory. Thank you. That's perfect. Uh, we're building this theory that the mom took him for the weekend, was hanging out with the Nirvana guys, uh, you know, doing their thing. They seen a great photo op or idea, you know, mm. somebody fucking dreamed that up and thought, let's use the baby. Throw the baby in the pool. So <laughs> then she didn't have full custody of him because he's saying his legal guardians didn't have a, give approval. Oh, so if his okay. mom's not the legal guardian, then that means maybe the grandparents or someone yeah. else. Wouldn't they give more credit or credence to going after his mom not necessarily yeah. the band because she made the for sure i mean it definitely seems like Mom's the direction is, is uh, uh yeah that's true that's true did they say oh the only i think caveat that originally existed was that they were supposed to put 
a fake sticker that was a permanent sticker over the penis, which they never moved oh, forward. Oh, like, uh, like on print or something like that? Yeah, yeah okay. it was supposed to be in print, but it's supposed to look like a sticker that was over it that I you could try to peel, but... I remember the album being in a store with a sticker over it, but then once you peel off the cellophane... Yeah, it it's oh, there, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it... I don't, I don't know if I'm being mandela but I think I remember the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you are being mandela that should be a t-shirt. You've been mandela <laughs> yeah. Nelson mandela And then he's like, he's, he's wearing there. a mask. And, but, yeah. uh, I, yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with the, the idea Ed was saying, like, if you're going to go after somebody or if you're going to, mm. if you feel like you've been damaged because of it, you will, ha you should go after your, whoever, you know, okayed it, which would have yeah. been the, his mom. And, mm -hmm. and yeah. even though they weren't the legal guardians or you know, from what it sounds like. Yeah. Um, uh, and, it does come off as a cash grab. Yeah. Um, oh, dude. So for sure, especially because I mean, I don't know, I don't know, but it feels like it's less like a cash grab when maybe more money is involved for some reason. In my head, I don't know if I'm yeah. twisting this, but since it's such a low amount, you know, yeah. 150 grand from each, it feels like he's go he's shooting so low because either they'll settle and just give him money. Yeah. 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 Um. Or I don't know. That's just kind of where just my mind goes. With geez, it. I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. For real though, dude, it doesn't sound like a lot. You're right, old, old Nirvana t-shirts I can have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I feel like he ruined all of his future celebrityism, you know? Um, yeah. Obviously he's going to be attached to it forever, which now for me, it's like it tainted it, you know, like before, mm his coolness would have appealed to me, you know, like you're the Nirvana baby. That's fucking pretty yeah. cool, man. Yeah. You're that kid, you know, like obviously you don't have a baby dick anymore. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, got you know, hopefully. Yeah. So it's like, what are you really Unless ashamed that's of? That's why you know? he's a little, pissed? that's some innocence, you know? And, uh, again, you know, I'm not into freaking anything like that. I would never condone anything like that, but I never seen it as like, that type of it didn't seem like uh, risque or wrong, you know. Growing yeah, up. I never re I never viewed it that way either. Um, I, I think the the what do you call it the the grandiose that is Nirvana like eclipsed anything, and we just looked at it as an album art. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. all you know it was. And, and if anything, you looked at more. Uh, you looked at the uh, the risqueness of it at you know that you're like ooh you know a band did it, did this you know right and you kind of just looked at it as um uh what do you call it like a just as a stunt or something you know, just something that that's really what the, you know I kind of always like related to it you know yeah. it seemed extreme because of the the idea that they're selling you yeah. Know? If like anything, throw a fucking naked baby after this dollar, you know. If anything, to put in like a, a exclamation point on the maybe a point they were trying to make, yeah. the idea of like you know, you're, you're we're teaching the babies to taste chase money, you know, right. capitalism or something, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. But all right, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see uh, what happens if the, if he has his day in court. Check out full episodes of the Strange Noise podcast on Spotify. Episodes also available on your favorite podcast platform.